Hello, truckers and adventurers. Welcome back to SnowRunner. We are in Yellow Rock in the state of Maine. We're sitting, sitting in our con next to a Scout fuel trailer. And I was trying to figure out a way how to get this over to the fuel station that we need to bring it to. And some people have commented here and there. And the one thing I thought of is, um, why not just tire a wench to it and tow it? Can that be done? I think I've done this before, but I don't remember if, if I'll accept it when I get there. Uh, no, we don't want to, we don't want to attach the wench to that. Let's go ahead. Can we now attach to that? Well, we can. All right. So where am I bringing this now? I kind of forgot. It should be somewhere. Uh, how do I get there? Um... Yeah, over there, over here, over there. Uh, let's just, I, I think I came through the woods over here. Can I get up through here? That would be the best way. And of course, once I get up to, well, maybe not even there. Uh, how did I do this? I'm on an island, basically. <laughs> and I just want to get over to the fuel depot. Yeah, let's just go ahead and we'll cross up here, possibly. And then once I get here, can I just... I think there might be a road there. Might be. Uh, let's take off the handbrake. Uh, low plus, I think we'll go in first. Okay, we're hauling the, the trailer. So this is the first of two. At least we'll get it there. If it doesn't accept, at least it'll be there. And though when I do bring something over, we won't have that far to bring it. It looks like there might be a road here. I don't know if this is where I crossed before. I don't really remember. Uh, no, it's not the parking brake. I uh, don't want the parking brake. I want to kind of tow in the trailer a little bit. I wonder if I can take some fuel from the trailer as well. Does it matter if I bring a full trailer or does it just need to have a trailer there? I probably should repair my con as well. I should have a little bit of a repair on the roof rack. Yeah, so there is a road here. It doesn't really show up in the map, so I think that's why every time I look at the map, I'm like, oh, there's no road there. But I know I crossed here before. Let's see, if I put an automatic, is that too much? Well, I'll try to stay out of the snow as much as possible. Because we all know this thing is not doing well in this in the snow at all so I want to get the fuel station up and going because I need fuel over on the other map and when I bring my equipment over to grab the four fuel containers that we need I'm probably gonna need a refuel so getting this fuel station up and running would be a good thing so yeah this is the road I took before I'm not gonna try going up the hill We'll just ignore my markers that I put down. I think it's going to take the fuel trailer when I get there. Let me go ahead and put diff lock on. Going through a lot of mud and snow. Now the other trailer is a little bit further away. But if this works, this will save me a lot of trouble of trying to bring something over here. The one vehicle I was thinking about using, and I, I was thinking all about this when I was lying in bed last night, as I do. Uh, we do have a Hummer sitting in the garage, and I did not like the Hummer at all. I don't remember where we got it, uh, where, wherever we got the Hummer, but I remember trying it out, and it just didn't seem to work. And it could have been the snow. Maybe I didn't have the right tires on it don't really remember I don't really remember a lot of things about snow runner let's face it um, but yeah I just uh, the only thing I do remember is I did not like the Hummer at all I probably don't have all the upgrades for it either and that could be the reason why but I was thinking the Hummer must have a trailer hitch on it to be able to bring this over and I'm thinking this should work what we're doing only because I brought in vehicles where I had to tow vehicles. I, I towed them with a wench and brought them to where they need to be dropped off at and I it completes the mission. So why not the fuel carrier? 
And as I said, I would like to steal the fuel out of it before I get there. Because I don't know if the trailer's going to disappear or not. Now, this map does not look that big, but while traversing the map... It's not like you can kind of just go somewhat in a straight line and get there. You pretty much got to drive around like this mountain that's in the middle of the map. I think we went up this way. I'm actually surprised that the trailer is still upright. So once we get this fuel station up and running... Then um, we'll figure out how I want to come over and get the fuel, the four fuel. I'm thinking we might use the Vongrad because that has a bigger fuel capacity. And we'll probably bring the big trailer. The ANK does not have a big fuel capacity and I could take uh, two of each. Did I... Wait, how, how did I get from here to there? Does anyone remember? Alright, I need to go out to the road here. We're almost out to the road. Apparently it's right in front of me. Yeah, now I see it. I'm glad I didn't fall all the way through there. I mean, that, which, that probably would bring me to the road. Let's put diff lock on going uphill in the snow. The con does not like it at all. Can't use the wench to pull myself up because the wench is on the trailer. Oh no, there's a guardrail there. Who put the guardrail there? Um, okay, we got plenty of room. This is going to take me a little bit longer to get to the asphalt. Yeah, I'm hoping I can grab some fuel from here. I don't remember how much is on the roof rack of the con at all. So before we pull into the fuel station, we will steal the fuel that's here, get this all, the roof rack and the con. Okay, that's where we got to drop it off at. Well, let's just uh, halt right here for a second. Yeah, get nice and close, shall you? Uh, refuel. Source, yes, fuel up. That's good. And then, yeah, the roof rack is just about done as well. Alright, and then, are you just going to just take it, or... Well... It does actually take it. it. We didn't hear nothing spectacular happen. But in the upper right hand corner, if you didn't see it before, there was two washed off tank trailers showing. Now it's only one. Okay, so we got one in there. And we got a full tank of fuel. If I can turn around, that'd be great. All right, now I got to see where I'm going on the map. Uh, we'll just disconnect from everything there. Where's the other one? Kind of forgot where the other one is. Hello? Oh, okay, it's over there. Um, well, we really haven't been this way. So we're going to go down that way and, I don't know, just mark it like that. So, a new adventure in Yellow Rock. And there is a watchtower over here as well. I wonder how far that is. Is this bridge even passable? I don't remember. All 
All right, so we can cross the bridge. It's not a washed out bridge or anything. I am glad there's not other traffic on the maps because I'm all over the road. Okay, so this bridge is out. Well, that's not what we want. I'm going to guess the river below us is not passable. But maybe through here? Wait, what the heck is... I mean, this looks like a, a spot we can go down, but it looks like there's something down here as well. Um, another... Another fuel? But that's not the one we need. Can I... That water looks way too deep. Yeah, I really don't see... A spot here to pass. Well, it's good to know there's a fuel tanker here if I need it. It might be for another job. Let's go scout on the other side of the river here. Although this is not looking that promising either. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything right there that says, hey, cross here. So, yes, <laughs> trying to find a good spot to cross. I think, no, that's a tree. For a minute, I thought that was an island sticking out right there, but that's actually just a tree they're showing. Well, this is not a job to fix the bridge. This is going to be like a time trial kind of a thing. Show task. Okay, so maybe it is a regular task, but we'll, we'll take on it, and we'll have to fix that another time. Uh, meanwhile, I need to cross the river somewhere. I am going to scooch back down here and see. So I didn't go out to the peninsula of this little island. Hard to tell if this is deep here or not. Um, I'm not going to say I'm in trouble, but we are. Because <laughs> uh, there's going to be nothing to tie to. And now I'm just floating on down the river. I should probably turn off the engine. Now, <laughs> this is not the way to do it, for darn sure. But I'm hoping the river is going to push me up to this bank on the other side. At least now I know, definitely don't cross there. Is it going to get me over to the other side of the bank? Maybe it's the tires keeping me afloat. I don't think this is going to work out too well. I don't know if the developers were going to be kind enough to get the water current to push me to the side. Because now it looks like the water is going to push me out that way. Put diff lock on. I don't know if I'm on the ground because we're not moving anymore. Are we moving? I think we are a little bit. I, I just feel like the river is going to push me away from that bank over there. Well, let's see. That was about 11 minutes floating downstream. And the current finally got me close enough to where I could wench this something. Uh, to give you a rough idea, 
You can kind of see how far I drifted. <laughs> quite, quite a ways here. Uh, the engine did get hurt quite a bit. I tried running a couple times when I thought I was stuck. And hoping that I could get somewhere. And yeah. Actually, let me go ahead and retire the wench to it. Uh, to a tree. I do want to see if I can... Uh, I want to repair the engine. First and foremost. Uh, no, not spare wheel. Alright, and... Yeah, we'll keep everything else the way it is. No, forward. Yeah, pull me out of the river, please. <laughs> Do I have enough to get a grip and get out of here? Still in the river. Alright, I think I've made it out. But the problem is, I'm, I'm like in the middle of nowhere at this point. Uh, let's put the parking brake on. Let's see. Actually, we're not far from a road. This up the hill is a road. Alright, we, we can do this. Right? We just gotta sneak through the trees. Nope, not, not into the trees. Through the trees. road is like right literally right in front of us problem solved uh somewhat now the one thing i gotta do is once i do hook up to this trailer i gotta find a way to get back to the other side uh fixing the bridge would be the smart thing to do but of course i don't have the means to do that currently Luckily, the roof rack, the repair kit, the roof rack is going to save us because there's a lot of damage to the engine. So probably the smart thing to do is now I know there's no, not really a place to cross the river where I floated on down through. I pretty much got to go halfway across the map and cross somewhere along there. That's why usually the first thing I try to do is always get the bridges connected, and that way it helps you out quite a great deal. Problem what I have currently with the main map is, other than the fuel tankers that are placed on the map, I have no way to get fuel. I can recall to the other garage on the other map, which is fine, but that does not refuel or repair. Okay, so up here we're going. I wonder how far I'm from the watchtower once I get up here. If we're not too far, it might be wise thing to go and do that so we can kind of see more of the map and maybe get a better layout of where things are. There's 200 meters that way, but I'm seeing some big boulders, which kind of makes me a little bit nervous. Like there might be a cliff on that side, or maybe another river going on down through. Alright, but there is a road that kind of sneaks over that way, so that's good. I am kind of curious if I grab the other scout fuel tanker that was on the other side of the bridge, if I brought that over, if it would accept it, because it's the same... I'm going to assume it's the same kind of tanker that we're picking up here. Is the game smart enough to know that that's not the correct trailer? And this is not even to get the garage to repair and refuel. This is just to get the fuel station on this map up and running, I think. 
And then the next thing I want to do after, on the garage after I can get it to repair the fuel is customize. I did see a couple comments of some people just saying, just, just store your vehicle, customize that another map and bring it, bring it back. And I said, I don't want to do that. Uh, we're going to try to get this done this way. All right, uh, let's look at the map and see where we're at here. Where's the other watchtower? That's well, I don't want to say it's quite a ways. Wow, I, I felt like I drove for a long period of time, and it doesn't look like we got to go that far. So I'm thinking I just got to go back down the way I came and then cross here, because this is where we picked up the other fuel carrier and bring it over. Um, you know what? Let me go ahead and just—it's almost a thousand meters that way. And I have no idea what I'm going to cross when I get there. Uh, let's not do that right now. Alright, so before I go much further here, uh, let me go ahead because we did it before. Uh, don't do that. Do that. Do that. Let's refuel the con. Looks like another repair the bridge kind of a job here. But now I'm going to be kind of focused on just getting this scout trailer to the other gas station. Hopefully we don't fall through the ice here. Let me bring in the trailer a little bit closer. Hey, the trailer uprighted itself. Good. Get everything up and running, and then we can start putting the bridges together. And I also got to see what I need to do to open up the other gateways as well. This flipping snow is not doing me any favors. Of course, dragging a trailer is not helpful either. You can see the front of the trailer is really digging into the ground there. But I'm actually surprised it's hauling better than it should be. I'm kind of glad floating down the river I said, well, I'm just going to wait this out and, and hope that we get close enough to the bank to where the wench can tie to a tree and just get us out of that mess I was in. And so we can get some logs here or build a ranger station. At least we can see on the map where we got to get to, but as we know, going in a straight line is not going to work out for us. Part of me thinks I should have went to that watchtower, but I want to. I want to complete one goal I had set for this video. Um. Wait, is this where I'm turning? Yeah, this is where I'm turning here. We got to go at least to here. But should be a little bit, a little bit downhill until we turn across the river. I 
I think someone did leave a comment that they put off this region, the whole main region, because apparently something with the logs, I don't, I don't know exactly what they were saying, but apparently there's a lot of traveling back and forth, and, uh, so I mean, it sounds like it could be a, whoop, looks like it's stuck on a rock here, it could be a fun map, or just, you know, overall challenging. That's the whole part of a game, at least to me anyways, is if it's not challenging, it's not that much fun. But then there's also times where it gets to be too challenging, where it's not fun at all. It's got to find that fine line of how challenging do you want it to be. Right, now that we're out of the snow, we can put an automatic and really zip on down this dirt road here. I'm actually surprised how long the day has lasted. We did start the episode at 6 a.m. And I haven't passed through a night yet. And that is even floating down the river for about 10 minutes or so. Alright, so this is where we're going to cross the river. And this is where the other trailer was. Let's go to low plus, trying to drag the fuel carrier across the river. It's not liking it. We put diff lock on. I mean, one step at a time. That's the way I gotta look at it. I can't start thinking of everything I need to be doing on this map. Kind of need to stay focused on one job at a time, I think. Or else I'll get overwhelmed. Which is true on any map that I play on. Because if I start thinking of all the jobs at once, it seems like there's so much to do, which there is, and putting it all on your plate at once is not a good not a good thing all right so now at least I know when I get up here if I go over the top of that hill there's a guardrail there Not here, of course, but when we get around to the other side. Of course, the game could still tell me when I get this fuel tanker there, like, no, we wanted full tankers. But I think I've done this before in a sense where I've taken fuel from a tanker. And then find out later on that that tanker is meant for a task. And I brought it over and the game's like, alright, well you brought it here. It might not have as much fuel as we thought it would have in it. But you know what? The tanker's here. They're happy. I 
mean, other than trying to cross the river where I shouldn't have, but I knew that was going to be a dangerous attempt. But it worked out in the long run. I mean, it floated down the river for 10 minutes. Driver was not too happy with me. He kept looking at me a couple times. Because, I mean, it's Maine, it's snow on the ground, that water must have been ice cold. Yeah, this map just does not look as big as it is when you're when you're looking at it, then you start driving around it. This doesn't seem like we have to go that far. Right, so before I get up in the snow and I, I can't get as good traction, let's go ahead and let's just get it to the morning hours. Now if I go over the top of the hill, but oh, we are getting low on fuel. Let's go ahead and take some more from the uh, from the carrier behind us. That's the wrong button. Uh, refuel. Yes, yes, that's all good. And actually, we can still see the tire marks from bringing up the first fuel carrier. So we'll do the same here. Probably the same thing's going to happen where the fuel carrier is going to dig into the ground and have a little hard time getting up the hill. I am really, really hoping that when I get this done, it's like, hey, now you have access to refueling or is it going to be one of those things like, oh, thanks for the fuel. And I won't have access to it. I may have to do something else. Who knows? Let's turn diff lock off. Because once I get in the asphalt, I could tear the differential apart. Everyone cross their fingers. Trailer's trying to pass me. Trailer's so excited to get home, it, it wants to beat me there. Fuel station is now available, except Perfect, that's what we want to hear and see. Now it says service garage, but it's just gonna allow us to get fuel. Alright, let's go ahead and put the parking brake on here. And we'll shut off the engine. There we go. So no way to cross I mean I there might be a way to cross here. But that, that looks even rough getting down there with all these big boulders. I'm guessing that's a big drop off. So even just across there and then try to sneak alongside the riverbank to get up there. I think the only way to cross now is to do that. Fallen Bridge, what does that uh, require? 
concrete slab and metal beams. If I start tracking that, is any of it on this map here? Um, at the warehouse. But I think some of the stuff I need for fixing up the garage. And we also got the metal works over here that makes metal beams and metal rolls. All right. And concrete production is over there as well. I guess getting up to that watchtower is something I need to be doing. And I think we'll be doing that like next episode for sure. Uh, but I think what we're going to do is let's go to the global map. We're going to go to this map here. Oh, we can get a whole bunch of material from here as we can see. Should I be bringing some stuff over? Make my trips count. Uh, I'm just trying to figure out... Because the only gateway we got open is this one. I'm going to... Access the gateway. So that job... But does it show me which gateway will give me access to? Because we got two of them that are locked. This one's locked and this one's locked. Alright, so that's one way to open up a gateway. Which, what's the other one? I mean, I could be here forever trying to fight, figure out which one opens up the other gateway. Uh, but that one's locked. So it doesn't matter. But uh, at least we can see... How to open up some of the gateways. But, I mean, this is currently... Wait, which one was I doing? Nope, not that one. Uh, that one right there. We just gotta bring the four fuel there. Which is what we need to be doing. Uh, <laughs> I lost my whole train of thought what I was what I was doing. Uh, oh, I can't see it now because it's, it's on the other map. So I got to go to this map. Get this. Fallen Bridge. Start tracking. All right, go back to the global map. Go to here. So concrete slabs and metal beams. There's only two metal beams there. What's over here? This one. Two concrete slabs there. Two metal beams there. I think uh, metal beams, don't they take up like two slots per? So that means I can only carry two anyways. Well, we got to hop into the Von Grad anyways. Uh, but I got bricks on the trailer. Can I get the trailer back? I actually got three bricks on here. All right, I'm having second thoughts. As I'm doing. Well, I may have to cut all this out because I'm just faffing about right now. Uh, let me go to the garage. In storage. Fuel capacity is 330 on this sucker. Let's deploy this. Leave garage. Where's... Where's my, where's my trailer? Because this has a good fuel capacity. Where did I leave my trailer at? I left it at that warehouse. 
All right, well, I got to go there anyways. So uh, let me just go to here. We know the path here. And I think we'll just go get the trailer for today. And then... Um, and then hopefully in the next episode, we can get back over to the yellow rock. I'm going to say Yellowstone once in a while, so forgive me when I do. But, uh, yeah, we got to get back over to yellow rock. Well, we should be able to get the four fuel to get the garage up and going. But this looks like a, uh, a good truck to be using. Hopefully it hooks right up to the trailer. It should do. Okay, make sure I go between the evergreen and the white birch trees. I have no idea what kind of a wench I have on here. Once we get the garage up and going, then we'll start looking at possibly getting some uh, some of these bridges taken care of. Trying to see how far the wedge can reach. I don't think I had the battery operated one on here. I have no idea which one's on here. I can't customize it because I can't do that in the garage yet either. Alright, seems like it has a decent reaching area. One thing I do like about this truck, all-wheel drive and diff lock is always on. Although we're having a little bit of trouble just getting through the river right here, which is not a good sign. I don't know what the weight of this truck is. And I'm starting to float down the river once again. This truck is not doing the greatest going through the water. The good thing is we're not, you know, we're going through some fuel, but it's got enough fuel capacity where I think once we get to the other, other map, we should be okay. We can top off fuel there and come back. But I'm really hoping that this trailer will hitch up to the back of this. If not, then I'll just have to make two trips at this point. I'm kind of curious about maybe doing the other job that gives me access to the other gateway. It just doesn't show me which one that opens up. Because opening up the gateway that's closer to the fuel station on the other map would be very good to have. And 
I also think um, the way SnowRunner's been going recently on the channel, I think we will be having two episodes a week. Wait, which way did I go? I think I went this way. So we'll have like an episode on Sunday like always. And I'm going to say try to get one out on Monday as well. Seems like the views are starting to go up on it. I think uh, probably most of you do like watching the snow, you know, the Stormrunner episodes. Because it's a game that, you know, you like watching. Of course, that's why you're watching the videos. But I know I do this sometimes too. There are games I would like to play, but I just know I'm not good at it. So I watch other people play it. And SnowRunner could be one of those games where you think, yeah, this would just frustrate you to no end. So you'll watch someone else play it. And when we get into the water with this truck, it seems to slow down a little bit more than the other ones do. We got over here faster than I thought we would. Just trying to get close enough to the trailer here. All right, please tell me we can attach. All right. That, that, that's, uh, something else off my shoulders I'll have to think about. Um, you know what? I think we do got time because I just remembered about 10 minutes of my recording is me floating down the river that you didn't see. So let's at least get to the other map. Although I do have to cross a couple times the river on the main road. And that could take a little bit, but let's get that done at least. I am in low plus. Get that front axle on some solid ground. There we go, that'll pull us out. already burned through a hundred liters of fuel. But, as long as we get to the other map, which we should, the con is over there that can come over and refuel us if we need to. I want to get a good head of steam up going across this road because when I get to the river I want to try to get through as much of it as I can at high speed. Although that slowed us down quite a bit. Let's see, do I save about 11 liters a minute if I do automatic? Not any different. Low, low saves me some fuel. Does it actually... Uh, really, I'm trying to figure out what's the best for consumption of fuel and moving forward. And I don't think I'm moving forward at all. But I have the same problem with every vehicle crossing this river. We are slowly moving forward. May not seem like it, but we are. There are things to 
winch to, but they're on the side of me, not in front of me. No, wait. I mean, I could stop and winch like the back of the trailer and help pull myself forward that way. But I don't want to stop forward momentum. Uh, and I got... I think uh, from now on, I may actually start crossing the marsh like I did with the con last time. That's better than trying to cross this river. But I mean, it had to go the way we did because I had to get the trailer. Nope, still connecting to that. I think I'm connecting to the front of that red SUV. Yeah, we're starting to pick up a little bit of speed. Don't want my trailer to get hung up on something because it's starting to go downstream. Well, there we go. I think we're starting to get out of the fast current. Alright, step one. Pick up some speed and try to blast to the river as much as we can. And we still got one more section to go through. But they get easier going this direction. Now we're trucking. Let's get over to Yellow Rock. Now we just got to get over to the warehouse, which we've been to. Which we'll be doing next time, but that should be just right on down here. And that's not going to be too difficult if I remember this road. Uh, this comes on down through here. Then, of course, we cross the river, which we've done twice today. And then, of course, we went past this warehouse a couple times. Grab all four fuel. And then just head back to the garage on the other map. Uh, i got to remember, what is the other map called? I just keep saying the other map. The lowland, okay. The lowland, that's what I need to keep in mind. But, uh, yep, we are pretty much all set. So we got at least, I wonder if I got enough, uh, uh, mm. yeah, I probably should bring the trailer over to the warehouse, drop it off, and just take the trip, maybe and fuel up, because I'm not going to get back with the amount of fuel that we have. Or I could bring the con over, and that'll give me 80, well, we'll figure it out once I get over there. But either way, I want you to put some fuel back into this thing. And, uh... Uh, so we can make it back to the garage. But anyways, that is where we're going to wrap it up for today, guys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the episode. I do appreciate you watching as always. And I'll catch you again right here in SnowRunner. But until then, have a good one.